Indianapolis Public Schools is seeing a rise in its English language learner student population, and some schools are working to meet their specific needs. This week, we're taking a closer look at dual language education and how teachers are taking steps to help these students become successful. Camilla, you went to school where almost all of its students are English learners. That's right. At Meredith Nicholson School 96, teachers are coming up with new ideas to make sure that students are able to thrive both at home and in the classrooms. We need staff members who pick up back door walkers and bus riders. Almost every day, English as a new language teacher at Meredith Nicholson School 96, Colleen Turner, works to help English learners feel welcome. She says some come from other countries without having any primary education. In the long term, I get to see kids who are coming here with no English, and then down the road, I get to see them graduating from high school, going on to college. Indianapolis Public Schools has about 5,700 English learners, which is about 800 students more than in 2017. There are more than 30,000 students in the Indianapolis school system. According to the Indiana Department of Education, at Meredith Nicholson, nearly 70% of all students are English learners, and teachers at the school are feeling the impact. We have to adjust. We have to do a lot of background and find out where where they're at and we kind of meet them where they're at so we start with foundational reading skills with many of our students um, we help them you know learn how to, often learn how to read in English and Spanish the school has a family liaison that's bilingual and an English language learners department with four teachers and three bilingual assistants our parents can see we have all of our uh, wording in English and in Spanish LaShonda Huff is the principal and she says the pandemic made them rethink how they serve their students we went out to homes and made sure that students had their technology devices and made sure that if they had little to no connectivity with internet, we went out and provided them with the district approved MiFi. Ana Garcia Berchan's son is a fourth grader. She says his teachers helped him improve his English language skills. There's a teacher at Colombo who helped my son a lot, and another teacher who would talk with him via video call when we were at home and that's helped him a lot. IPS says it receives about three million dollars of state and federal funding each year to support English learners. They also have a family and community engagement liaison that supports Spanish-speaking families. Our ENL face liaisons, those are a direct um, addition based on feedback that we've heard from families and communities about wanting additional supports on how to navigate um, just Indianapolis and the community as a whole. The school district says it hopes to see more resources for students in the future. This was part two of my series on dual language education. We've made it easy for you to go back and see part one. Grab your phone right now and scan the QR code on your screen. It will take you right to the Inside Story page on wishtv.com.